Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. Um, today, so I actually decided to go dumpster diving and I haven't been in a super long time so I'm super thrilled that I actually found stuff. So I'm gonna roll the clip of the couple stores I went to, Old Navy, Bath and Body Works, and the pet store. Okay, so I have you kind of like propped up on my dashboard. I don't know if it's gonna fall, but we're just gonna take a look real quick. But a couple things real quick. Old Navy switched to black bags, which is really weird. I don't like it because I don't like opening up black bags because it creeps me out. But <laughs> I went for it anyway. And the other thing is I noticed this bag that has clothes in it has a regular, um, it's just a regular bag. Their garbage bags, however, had a red string. So, I don't know. I feel like that gives me a hint on which ones to grab quickly. Um, and then the other thing is, there was only one bag. And usually, when Old Navy throws out their stuff, they throw out like a lot at a time. So that was kind of weird. But um, hopefully this stuff is not cut. It's, it looks good, maybe. Some shoes. Hopefully they're the same size. These are size 11 and 11! These will fit my son Ezekiel, so I'm really excited. They're kind of worn, but these are nice. I'm excited. He wears a 10 right now. So these will fit him like soon. And they're not destroyed and there's a left and a right. Then we've got oh, a little girl's shirt. Let's see. Oh, it's got a couple little holes in it. Right there. And that's size 2T. We've got some leggings. And on the sticker it says buttons broken. I don't know why there's no buttons on these. These are size XL. They're just leggings. And there's no buttons on these. But these are the bottom of the legs. So cute. We got, oh, some mittens. Let's see if there's a match. Some socks. My husband needs new socks. So I feel like I always find socks when I need them for him and just other stuff. So they have another glove, a sock. We'll see if we can find some matches. These are some leggings, size 10 to 12. And they have the price tag 10.99 on it. 
and yeah they just have kind of like a little stain right there but not stain it they could be washed none of this stuff is damaged so praise god these are size 29 by 30 straight like dress pants whoa priced for $49.99 wow they're nice I don't see anything wrong with them it doesn't have a, a sticker that says what's wrong with it so I'll have to examine it a little bit better oh pull by sensor I don't know if that came off of that but I'm gonna stick that with it to see to check later we've got some more little girl leggings looks like size small size six seven blue this is a pretty good bag this is a really good bag actually oh nice some sweatpants size large you see that these are nice I don't know if they're men's or women's I think women's because they have a zipper at the leg so I'm gonna assume that they're women's those don't look like there's anything wrong with them a t-shirt size large I don't see anything wrong with it Pants, active pants, size 28. These might fit me. Maybe. I don't know my size anymore. Size um, $34.99. These are a really nice, like, material with zipper pockets. Very cool. Oh, oh so cute! I love these. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. These will fit Lucia. These are size six and that it's a left and a right. And you guys probably can't see that, but it's rainbow. The dots are rainbow. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love those. So stinking cute. I hit the jackpot with this one. <laughs> We've got some slim fit, $49.99 on the tag, size 32 by 30. Um, they look like dress pants. I think women's. Oh, there's a hole by the, on the leg. Small hole, looks like maybe someone tried to rip a sen sensor off of it or something. Here is, it says stain on the waistband and these are, says size zero and they're five inches long. That's nice. That still has a buzzer on it, but I have a strong magnet that could take that off. It says size zero, but these look pretty big. So I'd be surprised if they're a zero. Hmm. These are really cute. I don't see a stain, but I'll look for that. Very cute. What else? What else? Some more socks with no match. A pair of pants, size 10 for $30. And it says stains. got oh <clears throat> a hole in the bottom and that just fell out of this so we're gonna check and see these look like men's pants size 32 by 30 they're like khaki and I'll check for a hole later but I don't see it but there might be one Another pair of pants. These are size 14. They have the buzzer 
the ankles are like, you know, whatever that style's called. And I, I don't see a sticker that says anything wrong with them. But they look really cute. Okay, we're almost done here. Another pair of pants, size zero. Unfortunately, I do not fit a size zero anymore. A pair of white pants, really cute. I don't see a sticker on it that says anything, but I'm assuming they might be a little bit dirty for being white. This was a really good score. Another pair of pants, size 14 short. And I don't see a tat, I mean, like anything that says what's wrong with them. Another pair of pants, size eight. Yes, that's my size. That's what we were hoping for. Good, hopefully they're not high waist though, because I don't really want high waist pants right now with pregnancy and all that. Yay, I'm excited. And I don't see anything wrong with those. The zipper works. The button's fine. And then we've got a pair of leggings. Stevie High Rise Extra Small Leggings. I, there's so many clothes in this one bag that it is just piled on top of me, as you can see. I think that's it. And then we've got one random shoe that they left out. I'm disappointed because this looks like it's my size. So, well, it's an eight. I'm more of an eight and a half, but oh, I'm going to keep coming back and checking and seeing if they throw out a match to this and see if there's any more bags of clothes soon. But this is always a good time to go around now. So I'm excited. This was an awesome score. I'm really happy about it. I didn't have to do too much work. Okay, so I am so excited about that score. That was a really quick score. And like I said, I'll be coming back to check there again. But for now, we're gonna go check a couple more dumpsters just to see what we've got. Okay, so I'm back home and I'm ready to open up all the bags that I got from Bath and Body Works. Let's see what we got here. Okay, this one is broken. Should at least put on one glove. Okay, so first we've got this one, which is sweater weather, and it's pretty shattered, but it's never been burned. So we've got the whole candle there and very soon I'll be making a video um, cutting up candles and I think so I bought some silicone um, little makers 
candle makers, so we will be melting these and putting them in the little silicone cuts, whatever those are called. So I'm excited about that. Bought them on Amazon for like $10, so I'll show you guys that. Ooh. Here's a candle that does not look like it was broken. And it is bergamot waters. I don't know if I said that right. It doesn't smell like anything. Not really. It's just like a really natural smelling, but it was burned a little bit, but still has some life left to it. Not broken. Next, we've got two broken sweater weathers. So that'll be good because I can just make, ouch, a bunch of these. That one's coming out a lot. Ooh, those are shattered bad. But so that means I have three of those so far and I can just make one big melting pot of the same candle. In this bag, we've got, that'd be funny if all of these were sweater weather. Nope, this one is a whole candle and it's not cracked and it's Holly Jolly Christmas. I don't like that smell. It smells like a smoker's house, I'm sorry. I don't like it. I'm like trying to give it another try. I don't like it. That one's not. I don't like that one. Not my favorite. I don't know why. It smells like. It smells like when you walk into a smoker's house and they're trying to cover it with <laughs> scented pine cones. That's kind of like what it smells like. Kind of. I don't like it. Um. I'll see if there's any other ones. Oh, more sweater weather. So we're gonna have a big old melted pot of sweater weather candles. So all together we got two, four, what did I do with the other one? Oh, down here, five. Total of five sweater weather candles. So I'm gonna try to melt those down quick so that I can get those in their little melt forms and maybe I'll sell those to you guys if you are interested um because the little melts are so cute they're like flower um shapes flower molds so very super cute that was a good score um two unbroken candles and then the rest were sweater weather which is a really really great smell I love that one so anyway, that was a really quick haul. Today was a really successful day though. And then I did go to the pet store dumpster and I got a bird cage and a, um, and a bag of parrot food, not parrot, but parakeet food, which by the way, we don't have Simon bird anymore. <laughs> we gave him to my husband's mom, my mother-in-law. So she's taking really good care of him. It was just a lot of work. <laughs> I don't think we're pet people. I think we've come to the conclusion that we're not really pet people. It just, it's a lot of work. Um, and birds are like not even that much work, but you know, it's like, I don't really have time to be cleaning up a bird cage when I have a messy house and a bunch of dumpster stuff that I have to do. So anyway, that's the update with Simon, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this to my mother-in-law and she'll like it. I mean, we have that big bird cage. She has the big bird cage, so she won't need that little one probably, but I'm gonna give her the bird food. And then I got a couple of harnesses too. Um, they're kind of used, but they work. They work. So we got one of those and then I got a red one they're kind of hairy so they 
should be washed but let's see they'll work so nothing wrong with them very good harness so anyway these were some quick scores that I got today and I have not really been dumpster diving for a while so overall I'm very happy with everything that I got so Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed already, please do so. I will have more dumpster diving videos coming out as well as cleaning and organization and decluttering and all of that good stuff. So, and if you don't know from my last video, I am pregnant. I am 17 weeks pregnant. So I will give you guys a bump update soon because I am getting bigger um, so dumpster diving is getting a little harder um, but as you've seen I'm able to still kind of climb up there but I'm not gonna be bending in and like jumping in because it's just too much work and hard to get out but I check dumpsters still and I um, will still you know if there's stuff on the top like all this was all pretty much on the top so if I have my grabber and it's easy to grab, then I'm going to go ahead and grab it, you know? So it's hard not to dumpster dive, but I'm also still working on getting stuff out of my house, like the clutter. So anyway, sorry, a lot of rambling, but that's just a quick little update. And like I said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.